Yo, what up, gang? <laughs> I'm going to do uh, what I eat in a day today. I've been in Thailand for like one month now. You know, I've got, I've got my routine down. We're actually going to jiu-jitsu for the first time in like two months today. I can't fucking wait. It's been so long. So we're doing that today. And yeah, I'm going to show you where I eat, where I go. There's like little cafes everywhere. They're beautiful. We're going there. I'm going to see if I can get coffee. Because I'm like, uh, I'm a bit drowsy. Uh, yeah. We will continue. Over, boys. <coughs> I, uh, you said I was going to record everything I ate. But your boy forgot. So, I'll do a proper what I ate tomorrow. But, um, what, what you've missed, I've eaten a custard bun. One custard bun. Um, from 7-Eleven, I got, you, 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 they have like these machines where you can like fill up of whatever flavour you want. So I got a little bit of ice, a tiny bit. That's a scam by the way, they want you to fill the whole cup up with ice. So you get a little bit of liquid. I just do a tiny bit of ice. And get lots of liquid. <laughs> uh, so I got half espresso, half chocolate boom. That is crazy. Uh, very good flavour. Very good. After that, um, yeah, I had the custard bun and then I went to another 7 Eleven and got this. It is crab, crab fried rice. Tasty. I was going to go to a restaurant and get a uh, stir, what stir fried, um, pad thai, I was going to go get shrimp pad thai, it's usually 70 baht, it's pretty good, but they were closed, I forgot most places just aren't open on Sunday, is what it is, but yeah, so I went to another 7-Eleven, got those, and then I bought um, bananas and a watermelon, I'll have probably have a watermelon tomorrow morning and the bananas, whatever I feel but yeah, I'll record them when I do the fruit over here tastes a lot better than the UK UK fruit is not edible I'll repeat, UK food, fruit, not edible um, I got my washing there to be done I've been doing it by hand, I got like little bells of soap I'll screw, up, screw a bit in the sink a bit of hot water from what the uh, electric shower can do and uh, that'll do but yeah I'm gonna dig into the uh, I don't know if I should record eating it they're really hard to open by the way like the glue around like it, it's an effort it's like it is an effort like you're lucky you're lucky to get a gap I'm usually like with the with the fork if they give you one stab it to get in but yeah, that's all for now. Update gang. We eating a banana now. I figured I'd record it. And I will compare to UK banana. First of all, they're much shorter. UK banana, at least double length. <laughs> Asian banana, very small. <laughs> Um, uh, first of all, they're a lot sweeter than the UK. UK bananas are almost bland. They are bland, they, they actually are. Um, if you get like a green one, you might get like almost a resemblance of the sweetness, but not quite. Um, yeah, they're a lot sweeter. Actually edible. Mm. Pretty good. I'll show you my drink.
I put it in the freezer because I didn't put much ice in it. It didn't get actually effect. But uh on for oh, can you see? <laughs> you might screw up. I mean as far as I can tip it. You see it? Brown liquid. Beautiful. Your bar basically made a mocha. Basically. Not quite. Actually, yeah. No, I made a mocha. Pretty good. Um, I like my coffee really sweet, so... Those machines obviously have a lot of sugar. Um, that's sweet enough for me, which is a lot of sugar. If you go to like a regular cafe, which I'm tempted to show you, they make lovely coffee. Like if you like your coffee not sweet, they make it lovely, but they don't, um, like, well, from what I've seen, they don't really hand out the sugar, which I usually have like five teaspoons at least in mine. <laughs> Oops. Which is like a minimum. <laughs> I like my coffee sweet. Like an energy drink. This is what I'm cleaning my clothes with, by the way. I'm not sure if you like need to flip it uh, to read it, but I use that. Um, they come out smelling of nothing, you know. Like I can't smell any sweat on my shirt, so hopefully it works unless I'm immune. <laughs> but. Uh, it does the job. I'll usually, when I'm traveling, I'll go, I'll like, do 100k or so, I'll go to a hostel. And then I'll just wash my shorts and my shirt and do the sink and find somewhere outside to hang them. And they usually dry by morning. If they're not, I'll wear them for like, the day, but like, they'll dry in like, half an hour. Just out, outside, so. Yeah, I'll rate um, UK, UK bananas a 2 or a 3, and I'd rate these like 7. I, I reckon there's better bananas out there. You know, when I bite them, I'm not like, oh my god, this is perfect banana. But, you know, they're pretty good. They're a pretty good banana. I wonder, I've heard the Philippines does a really good fruit, so I will be going there, and hopefully, I want to try durian there, I've heard it's better than Thailand durian, and I've heard the mangoes are better there, which I'm shocked, because the mangoes here are lovely, but I was talking to a Filipino, and he comes over here, and he's like, no, I don't, I don't like... I don't like the uh, the mangoes over here, they're very watery. Um, so I need I need to go over there and try Filipino banana mangoes. I I reckon they have the uh, the X Factor. I've, I've I've heard that the, the Filipinos have the best fruit. So I you know it's a requirement I go over there. Hmm. Yeah. I need to. I'm gonna go into Laos uh, when my visa expires. And then I'm gonna try and come back into Thailand. I've only been here once, so I should be allowed. Then I'm gonna travel to the beaches. Enjoy the beach life. Um, and then I will go 
I was debating Malaysia, but honestly, I might just fly to either Bali or the Philippines after that. We'll see. I've, I've had lots of time to decide. But, I, uh, I'm not, I don't really care about Vietnam, and like flying is like an absolute hassle uh, with the bike, so I'd rather not do lots of it. But I mean, if I can go to Bali, or in, in the, and if I can go to um, the Philippines, then that's brilliant. That, that's all the flying I need to do. And then depending on how much money I have, I can come back to Thailand at some point, maybe. I don't know how many times I can come here a year. Um, I, I could probably get away with three, right? <laughs> As long as they're not one after the other, I've got Bali and then Philippines, yeah, hmm, should work. Oh, these are so good, 20 baht for like, the sweet coffee drinks. Great. That's all for now. I do have more food to eat. I'm not done eating. <laughs> but I will uh, show you later, so. Wow, 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 wow. Goodbye. Oh no, I forgot to record. Well, I just ate that. Um, boom, crackers. I'll just eat in two packs of these. May eat another one later. Who knows? I need to go get some pad thai from town. 50 baht or something like that. Um, I'm going to eat another banana. Ooh, banana. They're so small. <laughs> Mouth for reference. And yeah, I've just been to Jiu Jitsu. It was pretty cool. I haven't trained in three months now. Uh, it's bad. I need to train more. You're probably going to be a world champ one day. So yeah, we got to get the training up. But we are cardio maxing right now. I feel like cycling is more beneficial for my Jiu Jitsu. Um, yeah, that's pretty hard to say, because I don't really, like, love cycling. It's like, okay. Um, yeah. I, re I really just want to train Jiu-Jitsu full-time. But I can't do that yet. That may, that may come in the future. We'll, we'll try and play our cards right. But yeah, I'm going to get rid of my belly. I'm going to lean up. Lose a lot of weight to get the cardio up, and then I think I'll be jiu jitsu ready to full time compete. That's what I want. Uh, yeah, so I'm just. That's me today, bro. I'll record my mail when I get to the to the market bender. We'll see. Oh, the Sunday market's on today. I might have a look around that. That might be a good idea. It's nine o'clock. It might be shutting. <laughs> uh, yeah. But catch it a bit. Peace out. Um, old gang. <laughs>